in, in Bangalore that are spearheading the main research on the scientific research on yoga happening in It's very interesting work. Then we have Kali Ray and one of the leading Mr. Sagar Young style of tri yoga. Right? We have, sorry? Tri yoga. Tri yoga. Tri yoga. Tri yoga. Tri yoga. Carlos Pomeda and a 35 year student of uh, Muktananda. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I was referring to Carlos now. Oh, yes. No, no. <laughs> so we moved on one further down. Carlos also spent more than 10 years, I believe, as a monk. So 15 years? 18 years as a monk. So he has done a lot of sadhana and scratched the surface in quite some years. Then we have Paul Delegan. A student of Tabu Joyce, Sharatan Goswami, and Upi Tiwariji, and has also, he's also the founder of uh, Samaita Wellness and Yoga Thailand, a yoga retreat center. in Thailand. People come and relax and enjoy and also learn some good yoga, I believe. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, some questions uh, we, I will ask kind of stick question to each one of the panel. Some other questions I'll just kind of we'll start maybe with Patrick and then we'll end with Paul each of you when you if you can give us kind of short uh, brief question. And the first question I wanted to ask you like what is yoga for you beyond the stretch? I mean beyond the kind of activities that you do and yoga is now your livelihood, kind of that's how you support yourself and your family right now. Um, but what, what, is, what is yoga for you really, and how does it support your daily life? Well, when you say beyond the stretch, I'm assuming you're meaning beyond the hamstrings. <laughs> Be, because really, yoga for me is a stretch. You know, it's a stretch for, you know, the, the body, the mind, and the heart to have a greater capacity for understanding, ultimately, for me. Uh, on a very practical level, yoga, I believe its its greatest gift to me through meditation and the asana has been my ability to appreciate and to even consider compassionately my own limitations on any given day. And from that, grow my relationships with people in life in general. So it's, it is a stretch all the way. All right, okay. Thank you. Yoga is my practice, um, the way that I'm able to sit more deeply with my karmas, with my body, with my mind, with the situations that arise every moment of every day in my life, so that I could be more at ease with all of that, and in turn, perhaps um, benefit others through my, through my experience of this lifetime. Thank you. Um, for me, yoga is not that we are, not yoga is like practicing yoga. Practice yoga should happen within you. Yoga is not that we can practice. Yoga is it should happen within you. For that we need to cultivate ourselves, our body, mind to happen within us. So that we need to do asanas, we need to do all kinds of Ashtanga Yoga, Yama, Niyamas. When we follow these steps, then automatically yoga will happen within us. This is what I think. Yoga should come within you, not that someone is forcing you to do. Or like my grandfather didn't force me to do yoga. He taught me asana practice. Through that you develop yoga within you. And you get more sensitive towards towards everything. 
it might be okay, if we are doing lots of charity work in Mysore or helping someone is also a yoga you come forward people who need you know who need help to help them that is also a yoga so yoga is we see yoga in everything not only in the mat just doing postures it's not that is the fundamental thing but through that you see many things in life where you should go and feel experience yoga in your daily life that is what i think thank you ragaram is the other indian perspective before i answer the question i really thank the organizers for inviting me here i met with some nice wonderful people and it's a great pleasure to be with you and this is yoga getting together and uh, mm. the way that i would understand that the way that we would like to look at yoga from this institute vivekananda yoga university is uh, it's a way of life it's a state of it's a journey from doing to being our nature itself is being we have been so constantly absorbed in doing so we get back to the being aspect of it and uh, that aspect itself is health so health is not that something we find it from outside but we go back to ourselves which is the nature called health it's a calm state of mind peaceful state inner harmony if you can manifest that that means we are practicing or we are going towards yoga it's a conscious thing that's what i would like to tell. thank you come right okay. yoga is a path to realization as satyananda and atman is connection with sat truth to acknowledge and under bliss what is not yoga yoga is everything to me with every breath is a manifestation of yoga yoga is to connect to connect inside to connect with one another and all living beings on this planet and to utterly connect with the fulgent self inside namaste I think we can sum it up for me in just one word, and that is awareness. We can, there's so many aspects that we can explore in terms of what yoga is all about. And we can get sometimes even sidetracked in peripheral practices. But ultimately the value of all practices is in this one element of awareness. Ideally culminating in full self-awareness of our nature. I think, again, connecting with today's topic, it is important to start looking at what is the, what is the essence, what is the main element, and for me that is that one word, some say a lot, no worries. It's a question, personally, I think about a lot because spend so many hours practicing doing yoga everybody's talking about yoga what is it what does it mean and when i look at it uh, in a living sense it is definitely an element of care and so sometimes i put it after the awareness or with one word care do i care Because if i care i have to make that little bit of extra effort care in my relationship with other people care in what i do uh, you could say the sum total of what's in yama and yama has to come from this uh, inner quality that I care. And it's not so easy because I'm selfish and a bunch of other things that come out of me. And uh, I need to work on that daily. And so unfortunately I have these great practices to help that. But still, I try to put up there, do I care? Am I caring? Am I trying to live this? So. Each day I come back to yoga being that. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I mean, the topic of this conference also from the organizers is many topics, many practices.